Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Today I wanted to give you a tour of the tree house, my tree house, not really mine because nothing is mine, but yeah, I wanted to show you guys today where I've been staying in the jungle. So let's go. This is a little seating area and then we'll go up to the living room. This is probably where I spend the most of my time because it's a little bit higher up into the trees and it, there's just a lot of space. I have this blanket here because I really like to sprawl out on this level and the first two nights that I was here, I just slept out here just like this and there was a huge rainstorm and it was so beautiful to fall asleep to. Another one of my favorite things to do is listen to a good audiobook. This video is actually sponsored by Audible, so shout out to them. I've been really enjoying listening to A Return to Love by Miriam Williamson. It's a book that my friend recommended to me and has just been so reaffirming and soul opening. So I love audiobooks because you can listen to them on the go. I personally started listening to this when I was in New York and you can download them and listen to them offline. Anytime that you're in transit, I feel like it's so good to absorb something positive. Audible is a website and an app that has an unmatched amount of audiobooks, audible originals, entertainment, news, and comedy. There's so much on there and you can definitely find something that you would enjoy. If you're interested in getting a free audiobook and two audible originals from an ever-changing list, you can go to www.audible.com slash hitomi or text hitomi to 500-500 and check them out and just explore how audible can help to unleash something within you, within your mind, your body, your soul, whatever it may be. I know this sounds pretty deep, but I genuinely feel like everything that we're absorbing in our realities has an effect on us. So you might as well, with the control that you do have over certain things, just put something positive in it that will help to shape your perspective. Yeah, if you haven't listened to an audiobook or read a book in a treehouse with the sunlight shining through the leaves, I highly recommend you try it at least once. It's like one of my favorite experiences on this planet is just being outside and like absorbing something beautiful and just looking up and seeing leaves all around me. Ah, oh, so grateful. But yeah, let's move on with the tour and go to the bedroom. So this is the third level where the bedroom is and also the kitchen. This, this is the bed where I've been resting my head after a long day and you know the mattress isn't the most comfortable but it's fine. I've been trying to sleep on my head, on the back of my head instead of on my sides lately and um, it's been interesting. I just go to sleep like this and I wake up usually on my side, but it's fine. Um, this mosquito net is such a lifesaver. If you live in a tree house, you gotta get one of these and maybe one of these. This, I don't know if you'll be able to see him, but his name is Paka. He kind of came with a tree house. He lives in the tree house in like a little crevice of the tree house and he's just been hanging out. He's asleep right now and I won't bother him, but he's really funny cat. Okay, maybe I will bother him a little bit. Paka, hang out with me. He's been sleeping all day, so I think it's fine that I just woke him up. And he's kind of annoying sometimes, so <laughs> it's fine if I annoy him, you know, every now and then. I don't normally let him into the bed, but I'm only here a few more nights, so I figured it's okay. I will have that bond with him, and maybe he'll help me astral project in my dreams. I don't know. Cats are interesting. Um, but over here... I have a nice little nook right by this beautiful little window and I don't know if it's because I'm just full-on grandma vibes and I'm just an old soul but I love having little nooks that I can read and do little creative things and it's just something that soothes my soul these simple little pleasures of being able to look out the window and have like a comfy cozy little area um, but yeah I have my laptop here and I have some cameras this is a film camera that my partner and I got on our two-year anniversary recently in July and it's one of the best 
film cameras I've ever gotten. It was $50, obviously secondhand, and it's just great for portraits. So I've been loving this so much. All of my film cameras have been secondhand, and this one that we just randomly happened to buy on the side of the street has been just my favorite by far to use. And then I have my normal Canon 80D with the Sigma art lens, and this painting I started working on in this very nook. These are my hands, if you can't tell. I'm not much of a painter, but I always like to try different modalities of creative expression because I think that they're all liberating and can teach you so much, especially painting, because canvases can be pretty intimidating and um, just teaches you to have absolutely no attachment. But yeah, this is one of, one of my favorite places besides the living room downstairs to hang out and be productive and just worship this little kitty. I love this kitty. I don't know if this kitty loves me. I'm normally a dog person, but this kitty has converted me to a cat person. And it's just funny because you don't know if cats ever really like, like you. I think they just want to be worshipped. So whatever. I feed into that. But anyways, <laughs> this is the kitchen area. I love this countertop so much. It's this beautiful wood carving. Oh my gosh. So earthy. I mean, it's a tree house. But there is a burner under here and a bunch of little dishes and plates. So this is a pretty fully functioning kitchen. Um, I've been washing my dishes downstairs. I have a little small abundance of fruits. This is some fresh papaya, some bananas, some lychee. These lychees are so big and so juicy. And my favorite, mango. These are so delicious. And my favorite kind of fruit and one wee little avocado and then we have a little mini fridge right here so this kitchen is so so amazing i love these little bar stools and it's all pretty pretty minimal i use this sometimes as a workspace too so i'll just have my laptop and just have a straight spine instead of having my laptop on my lap i just like to have it off of my body and it's really nice to work here yeah i love this i love this room so so much and it's so earthy and calming and and hot <laughs> and buggy so if you want to live in a treehouse you just must know that bugs are a part of the experience let's move on so this is the third level, but now we will ascend up into the sixth level of this treehouse, which is wild to me that there can be a six-story treehouse, but I guess it makes sense. The sun is setting right now, and I just feel like I'm living in a dream. But yeah, I'll show you guys to the top. Beam me up, Scotty. <laughs> Ow, I just stubbed my toe. Also, I really love this area because I like to do like ab workouts like this. <laughs> and sometimes I can manage to do some dips, but <laughs> it's a work in progress. <laughs> yeah, but I'll just stick to these. And it's really fun to just like play around. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of a weirdo up here, but let's go up. I feel my whole body, my whole nervous system just relax and neutralize when I'm surrounded by green and foliage. I just feel that everyone needs to spend time in the stillness of nature to remember a part of themselves and that part of themselves that they need to remember will be different for everyone. Living in a tree house for the past almost three weeks has been such an amazing manifestation come to fruition. I had photos of tree houses on my wall in junior year of high school when I first learned about the law of attraction. I had photos of a girl doing yoga and eating healthy food and just watching the sunset and I feel like I'm living in so many of those manifestations now and it is such a wonder to just exist in one of your own wishes and although I've been I guess activated or on this spiritual journey for a bit of time I also feel like I'm just beginning every single day 
and something that I'm trying to manifest is just to create something that will give back to the earth and give back to the people who don't have access to fresh water or to women who can't afford education and who end up in bad situations. I really want to create something to help people in this manifest physical reality and not just rest in my joy and think, oh, I'm helping the world because my joy is infiltrating the collective consciousness, which is part of it, but I foresee in my future just creating something that will actually help. And I'm putting this out there just because I want you guys to hold that vision too. And if you have any ideas or inspiration or projects you're working on under that realm, you know, we can connect. That is something that definitely came through just sitting under this tree. We're all made of all the elements and I think that we need to connect with them every single day. <laughs> And that's what I've been able to do here. And I think that that just has a natural effect on our physiological state. And even in New York, I live next to water. I live next to the East River, which I can't swim in. And I will never attempt to swim in. But it's good just to have that water element around and to see it from outside of my window. So yeah, connecting to the earth, the water, wind, fire, air, feels really, really good. Sometimes the things that I share, you just have to experience on your own because you may not understand how connecting to the elements could have some spiritual effect or make you feel lighter. But just go out, go into nature, go into the water and experience for yourself and uncover your own wisdom. But that is all for my treehouse tour. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and just spending time with me on my journey to those of you who have been here for so long. Yeah, thank you guys so much. I really, truly appreciate you and I hope to connect with you soon. Bye.